morning guys um so i worked till two yesterday or today this morning and ended up getting to sleep by about three waking up at 10. i actually feel really good and i feel really good knowing i'm like even though i'm getting no time to relax before work i feel good knowing i'm heading to work and touch wood if i don't do any overtime i'll be finishing at 9 p.m so that's a good feeling um i'm leaving for work in like 10 minutes i woke up meditated for 10 minutes felt amazing um, did my ankle rehab which only actually takes about five minutes so i've been slacking and only doing it once a day and i'm gonna start being strict with myself and doing it twice a day because it actually is feeling a lot better and it's feeling like i'm getting a lot more mobility in my ankle um, so if i'm able to rehab this ankle in a matter of weeks i'll be absolutely elated because it holds me back and i haven't really paid too much attention to how much it holds me back but i swear if my left ankle is as strong as my right ankle or close to it i will be able to get back to like running 30 or 40 k's a week and then lifting gym lifting in the gym um so that's the exciting thing about the thought of leaving crossfit because i love running for my cardio i love running aerobically i love running aerobically and whenever i thought about getting fully into it my goal was to do five crossfit a week and four runs a week I probably hit that maybe one time, two times in my whole time doing CrossFit, but it was always such a struggle because you did legs like pretty much every CrossFit session by doing like um, wall balls or front squats or air squats. Um, so it was never optimal because I always had DOMS in my legs, whereas the training program I'm switching to now, I'm only in the gym four days a week and only two of those days do I do my legs. So if I you know, rehab my ankle and can run again, I'll be able to run on the days where I'm not doing my legs, on the days, not on the days after I do my legs, so I don't have DOMS and stuff like that. So I'll be able to run on the opposite sort of days so that I can get optimal running. Feels really good. Feels like it's getting better and better every single day. Um, and I'm just so grateful that I put the money in to get it solved. Um, in reality, my ankle... What was I going to say? I just I just thought to myself, I was just, my mind went elsewhere. I replied to my accountant two days ago and he hasn't replied to me again. But um, anyway, so yeah, in reality, I should be healed pretty soon. Um, it's a good feeling. I'm loving back being back lifting weights, even if it's just at home. I have missed it a lot and I cannot wait to actually get into the gym. It's going to be awesome. Um, Emily's just texted me. Yeah, Emily's saying I can get probably get eight hours of sleep tonight, which would be nice. I mean, I got seven last night. It was more than enough. But um, I'm so excited because I've got two days off in a row. I've got Sunday and Monday off. On Saturday, obviously, going out with Emily's mates. Going to um, have dinner, have gin, all that sort of stuff. And then on Monday, I'm going for a motorbike ride with some of the boys from work, which is awesome. So I'm doing a lot of social stuff lately. And to be honest, it's making me feel really good. It's making me realise that oftentimes, like when I'm pretty busy with work, I let my social stuff go by the wayside. And I very rarely contact a friend and be like, hey, let's hang out. I need to get better with that. I need to get better at fostering my social connections and actually asking people to hang out. So that's one of my challenges. Like I said, this year I want to get better at like forming social groups and closer bonds with people. I want to continue to get better at that. Like in the second half of the year, I want to actually be initiating contact with people and going out on um, dinners with people and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, um, I'm rambling somewhat, so I'm going to end the video for the moment. I will film later. I keep saying that, but then I keep coming home from work and not filming. Having said that, I'm not coming home at 3 in the morning today, and Emily will still be awake because it's Friday night, and I should hopefully be home before 10 o'clock. Man, it's a good life. I feel good. feel good. feel so, so fucking good. Um, about the only thing that I could change at the moment is, like I've been saying, or like I said yesterday, I think it was, um, I'm using... I'm not having my reds and greens. I'm going to have my reds and greens and go and buy fish oil again because I've been not doing either of those things. I need to do it again um, and have that be at my base. Like every single day I take those things no matter what. Um, and I haven't been hydrating very well. So that's another goal for coming days, coming weeks. Um, that was one great thing about the Live Hard program, which, by the way, I'll have to go on again eventually. Um, it's June at the moment, I think. I'll be going back on it in September. So I've got a couple of months of drinking whatever I want, eating whatever I want. 
Um, I definitely won't be having bread rolls for the last 30 days of the Live Hard program. It's going to be really difficult. Um, anyway, I, I'm going to stop rambling. I've got to go to work. But I will uh, I'll film more later. Hello, guys. Um, I don't know why I said hello. I've already started the video. I'm home from work. It was a good day. Did an hour of overtime. Um, one more shift to go. And then it's my weekend. I get two days off in a row. Get to go out for gin and pasta tomorrow night. It's going to be an amazing day. And I really cannot wait to spend it um, with friends and with my family. So, yeah. Um, I don't really have much else to say. Fantastic day. I haven't had a, a genuinely bad day since beginning to meditate in the morning, so I want to perpetuate that, which reminds me, I do have to wake up start at 9 tomorrow. <coughs> so, I'm going to try and wake up maybe no later than about 7.30 so I can meditate before I leave for work. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.